concern in supporting the legislation? No. <laughs> Question number eight, Chris Bishop. Thank you very much, uh, Mr Speaker. To the Minister for Internal Affairs, does she have confidence in Pauline Kingi leading the independent inquiry into the process around the appointment of Mr Wally Homaha as Deputy Commissioner of Police? Mr Speaker, in light of Dr Kingi's credentials, the information provided to me by the Department of Internal Affairs, her work history and her signed declaration that she had no conflict or perceived conflict, then yes. However, it is with regret that I have to inform the House that Dr Pauline Kingi advised the government just before I came to the House that she is going to stand down from the inquiry into the appointment process for a Deputy Commissioner of Police. Ever since she has been, was appointed to the role, she has been the subject of political attack. Those have been attacks on her integrity, attacks on her reputation and even attacks on her legal qualification. Dr Kingy has a 28-year career in public service as both a community member and senior public servant and as a lawyer. She was asked to perform a public duty and yet became the subject of an undue and unwarranted criticism. The government has accepted her resignation and will commence the process to find a replacement. Will she now assure the House that the government will run a credible and independent inquiry that does not, is not run by someone who has endorsed the subject of the inquiry 23 times on LinkedIn? Mr Speaker, can I draw the member's attention to the Auditor General's um, description of Conflict 2.38? Questions of judgment and degree also arise when considering friends and other associates. However, in our view, it is unrealistic to expect the member or official to have absolutely no connection with or knowledge of the person concerned. New Zealand is a small and interconnected society. So, for example, we consider that simply being acquainted with a person or having worked with them or having had official dealings with them will not usually create any problem. And can I also remind the member that the process by which the process by which um, Dr Kingy was selected as the chair of the inquiry is the process that was created by the national government in 2009 and amended by the national government in 2013. How has she let herself and the government get into a position where they appointed to lead an independent inquiry someone who has close connections to the subject of the inquiry and who has endorsed him 23 times on LinkedIn? Um, I, I actually take issue with the member around close connections, and I would actually ask the member to prove that. With regard to... I asked the member to prove it. Order. And I asked them, I also draw the member's attention to the fact that LinkedIn, LinkedIn is Order. not. The member will resume her seat. Um, I've, I think, three times asked the, um, by calling order, asked the Leader of the Opposition to effectively tone down the volume. Uh, and now we have an out of order interjection uh, as well. Uh, this is an important matter. Um, that someone's reputation, or two people's reputation at least, uh, are, um, are involved. Uh, and I think the House owes it in these circumstances uh, to hear them, or to be able to hear the Minister. And with that sort of yelling, people won't. And, and I just remind, I think for the fourth time in the last two days, the Leader of the Opposition, to cease interjecting involving me. So just with regard to LinkedIn, again, advice has been received from the Cabinet Office and from this. Ms Kingy resigned because of disgusting accusations by the opposition that impinged her integrity based on a LinkedIn profile, which is a social media account that has been shown and advice has been received does not order, meet the uh, order. threshold I cannot, of conflict. I'm, I'm very close to the member and I cannot hear her, mainly, I think, because opposition members' barracking is coming through my mics. <laughs> the, 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 no, no, the, I'm first of all going to have um, the shadow leader. Yeah, throw fatty out. Right, <laughs> Tracy Martin. Uh, I, no, she, she was partway through the answer and I didn't hear the end of it. 
Supplementary question. Supplementary question. The right honourable woman. Uh, should people who have offered to fill a public office be the subject of vituperation, defamatory statements and comments, and have their integrity challenged purely for a venal political purpose? In my opinion, no. Chris Bishop. Did the Minister ask Pauline Kingy to resign as Chair of the Inquiry, or did she resign voluntarily? I have not had any opportunity to have any conversations with Ms Kingy. All interactions with Ms Kingy have been dealt with by the Department of Internal Affairs. Ms Supplementary? Chris Bishop. Will she now order an inquiry into the appointment process around the chair of the independent inquiry, leading an independent inquiry into the appointment of Mr Wally Homaha as Deputy Commissioner of Police? Um, as the member might know, no single member can make a decision about an inquiry. That would be um, something that would have to be taken to Cabinet and all of Cabinet would have to make a decision. Question number nine, Dr Deborah Russell. Kia ora, Etiva. 